Hello everyone, and welcome back to Eat, Sleep, Brief Today with me, covering a very interesting topic that I actually don't get it asked that often. Here and there I'll get it asked, but pretty much we're going to be covering how much it would cost for someone like you to replicate what you're seeing here in front of you. So, um, you know, the cost isn't going to be 100% accurate. If anything, it's going to be quite a bit higher. Uh, and the reason for that, I'm not going to sit here and count every single polyp. Uh, of every zoa I have because obviously I do have some very expensive uh, uh, zoas in here so pretty much I'm going to factor in the original cost of it and obviously anything that it's grown out well it is what it is um, another thing I'm not going to include in this video is anything I've lost such as coral and fish um, so you know I've obviously traded some equipment so that's not going to be factored in it's just going to be kind of covering what you see in front of you now for you guys interested how much money I've lost between coral and fish, I do have that number for you and I'll be sharing that uh, towards the end of this video. But in this video we're going to be covering uh, first and foremost all the equipment. Uh, not only all the equipment but the chemicals I dose, major minor trace elements, uh, the dosers, the equipment with the dosers such as the RO line, uh, you know stuff like that. We're also going to be uh, covering right after that is the livestock, so fish, and then lastly we're going to be ending it with the coral. So we're not going to go into too much detail, just briefly name the species of coral, species of fish, and give you the cost, because uh, obviously this video can go very long and I'm not looking to uh, drain you guys out. Obviously later down the road we can do a more detailed video uh, specific of fish, specific of coral, uh, whatever the case is. Today we're just going to give you guys a rundown of how much it would cost you or, to replicate a tank like this. So before we get to the video, I'd like you guys to do me a favor. Comment below, you know, no cheating guys, uh, I'm trusting each and every one of you. Comment below what number you think that's going to be on this reef tank. Two grand, three grand, one grand, five grand, ten grand, fifteen grand. I think at twenty grand I'd probably be divorced, my wife would just kick me out. <laughs> but comment below guys, uh, I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to do so. Um, and like I said, no cheating, be sure you... Uh, put that comment below. I'd like to see who gets very close uh, to that number and uh, so I'll give you guys a few seconds to do that. So now that you did that, um, I'm going to take the time and actually read every single comment. I'd love to see who, who gets very close to this number. Um, but yeah, pretty much what we're going to do right now, we're going to get straight into it guys. Again, I'm not going to go into full detail of everything. I know there's actually a few extra costs in here. Uh, that I haven't factored in, but this will give you kind of a pretty close general idea of how much it would cost to replicate a 45 gallon reef tank as you guys see here. So getting right into it, um, we're going to go down everything. So starting off with the lights, of course I'm running the Radeon lights. For the two lights, uh, the mount, the whole mounting system, the ceiling mounting system, the DIY stuff I did, the brackets I did for it, uh, that came out to 900 bucks. Uh, I believe that's also counting the reef link that I factored in. Uh, so that's lights, reef link, and the whole mounting system again at 900 bucks. Following that, we got the return uh, return pump, was, which is a JBO, I believe, the 3000. Uh, that's 70 bucks. The wave maker I have in here is an MP10 at $279. The doser, uh, both dosers I have in here are at 269 food I have for the fish and the corals are, I put about 50 bucks, I think it's a bit more, but let's just be safe and put 50 bucks. Uh, chemicals, so chemicals is pretty much the dosing, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium. Um, I put 50 bucks, but again, I think we're quite a bit over 50 bucks, but just for the heck of it, let's do 50 bucks. For the skimmer, the Catalyze PLS, uh, PLS 50 is 159. The Innovative Marine Reactor, 150 bucks. Uh, the heater I'm running, 25 bucks. The tank itself was 400. The stand, 250. Uh, the DIY battery backup, about 80 bucks. Uh, for rock and sand, that's 170. Um, any testing equipment I have for the tank, I put 200. Just I know it's more, but let's just put 200. Uh, the DIY Chato reactor, 50 bucks. The RO line for the dosers, uh, pretty much that's the lines that run up to the tank and obviously are dosing everything, uh, 30 bucks. Uh, the fan for pretty much a summer, 20 bucks. 
the temperature controller, which controls a fan and the heater and shuts one and one on or off, whatever the case is to maintain temperature, was 40. Uh, that I actually got from Amazon. The auto top off was uh, 120. And uh, the two power strips I have uh, in the sum, those were for, yeah, 40 bucks. Um, which that comes out to at or near 3,372. So again, this kind of includes just the equipment in the tank. Again, I know there's more, you know, a bit more money in there. There's the frag racks, there's uh, the R RSG nozzles or RFG, I forget the name of the nozzles. Um, so, you know, there's a few more, I'd say about another 200 bucks that I didn't account for, but we'll just leave it at that. And again, that total was 3,372. So coming up, uh, the next on our list is going to be um, the fish. So again, this is covering the livestock, not including coral. So starting off with the chromises, I have a total of three. I want to say those were 10 bucks for all of them. Uh, the two damsels were 10 bucks. Uh, the clowns I have, these are designer clowns. These are uh, Bali clownfish. I got them at 400 bucks from Florida. Blue tang is 60 bucks. Uh, yellow tang is 40 bucks. Leopard, beautiful leopard grass, uh, 80 bucks. Six line wrasse, 20. Lawnmower blenny, 20. Uh, cleanup crew, 80 bucks. So that comes out with a uh, total in fish of $720. So lastly here, and this is really where it kind of hurts to watch the total, um, is going to be in the corals. So again, we're not going to go into full, full detail on it, but uh, you know, I'm just going to give it to you guys how it is. And I, I really don't like looking at these numbers, but hey, it is what it is. So of torches is 500 bucks, hammers 350, uh, Zoas uh, 2500 bucks. You heard right, 2500 bucks of Zoas. Uh, Monty Caps 70, Ganapora 90, SPS. This is going to be me including all the SPS in the tank at mm, uh, 900, A cans at 400, leather at 40, chalices 200, GSP 30, uh, mushrooms 200, clam 200, scoli 250, Duncan at 60. And last frog spawn at 100. So, <laughs> oh man, this one's gonna hurt. The grand total on the corals in this tank is $5,890. Um, so, pretty much summing the total cost that we just ran down to replicate this tank, as you see in front of you, would cost you $9,982. You guys heard right, $9,900. And eighty-two dollars. Um, so, as I promised, a few a few stuff that I've lost, um, such as I'm not gonna give you guys a full rundown of the list, but um, fish, corals, um, pretty much, um, I've lost a total of four hundred bucks. Uh, so, you know, if you wanted to add that, we're well over ten thousand bucks into this reef tank. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure there's some corals in there that I maybe didn't include on the list just because I couldn't see them or, excuse me, or whatever the case is. Um, but yeah, guys, <laughs> as much as it hurts me uh, to kind of run this number, believe it or not, it's been a great journey. Um, it's nothing too difficult. But what I love about this, this hobby is you really can make it whatever you want, you know. Uh, I don't want you beginners out there to watch this video or especially you guys that are looking to get into it and say what ten thousand dollars for a 45 gallon there's no way i'm ever going to get started in here um, i didn't make this video to scare you guys away um it's like anything obviously if you just want to put you know four or five coral in the tank you can get away with 400 bucks of coral and call it a day um, same with equipment you don't need to get the best of the best equipment uh, you don't need for sure two radion lights like i'm running um but yeah there's a lot of stuff that i've done that are not necessary but again it, it for my opinion, it, it makes my experience better and allows me to give better um, stuff for my coral and obviously get better coloration, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to wrap that video here up today. Uh, hopefully I was able to answer some questions. Um, I know this video I was dreading to do myself just because I really never wanted to see the total cost, but it is what it is, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. And uh, yeah, 
Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. We're so close to hit uh, 5,000 uh, subscribers, so I want to thank each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, see you guys till next, till next time. As always, happy reefing.